So we're on a journey to see the Welsh Trees of the Year contestants 2016. Okay, what's the date today? 30th of September 2016 and we are at, where are we today? We're at National Trust Bodmin Garden today. And we have got, on the left... My name's Charlie, I'm the Events and Engagement Officer. And in the centre... I'm John, I'm the Head Gardener. Head Gardener. Uh, my name's William, I'm the General Manager here at Bodmin. And what are you holding up that I've requested you to hold up anyway? Uh, uh, this is the uh, um, bunting that was made for us by the Embroiderers Guild for an earlier art exhibition. And it's, I, I must say, the, the craftsmanship is absolutely lovely. And that'll, that will attract people to the tree and hopefully get them voting for your tree. Um, if you can tell me, um, John, a little bit about the tree, what you feel special about the tree? It's special because it's witnessed this world-class garden being created. It was here before the garden, it's part of the Georgian landscape and it's seen everything that's gone on here from Henry Poachin buying the property, developing the Victorian garden, seeing the terraces being built, as uh, grown through two world wars uh -huh. and now it's here in the, as a centrepiece in the top part of the garden. Right and, and mentioning the world wars, were there any troops stationed here in, in any of the wars? No, we had some German prisoners of, as of war is it the Second World War or First uh, World War? I think War? possibly both. Yes. Yeah. Right. It helped in the garden. Right. So they may well have, these limbs here yes. may well have had German prisoners of war yeah. jumping up and down and clambering around. Almost certainly had a thought, yes. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Witnessed the Queen uh, planted a tree just down there and Prince Charles. Mm. Right. All of that going on. So <laughs> those are heritage trees. What, yes. like, you have, we tend to have Catherine's ancient veteran a notable stroke heritage yeah. and a heritage tree can be this sort of girth yeah. so you can record that on uh, the website it's called the ancient tree hunt the woodland trust website yeah. um are they do you know if they're recorded or we could do that later or something i'm not sure but we'll, have, we'll have a look at that in the office here with the labels, but yeah. Yeah. and charlie what's a striking feature about this tree that um we've noticed i think it's the way that she was blown out by lightning a long, long time ago, uh -huh. and what happened was the trunk actually has come down and has rerooted over there. So the tree is in effect walking; it's actually moving. She's had lots of little daughters as well, so even after she's gone, she'll be leaving a legacy of her daughters behind her, and that's that's what's partly special for me about this tree. And it might have a new name now. Possibly, yes. The walking tree of Bodnant. The walking Bodnant. tree of Bodnant And it's walking to the coast. <laughs> and might you? How long have you been at Bodnant now? I've been here nearly six years. Nearly six years, and um, <laughs> it's an awkward question now. What's your favourite tree in the gardens? Or is that an unfair <laughs> question because there's so many fantastic trees? It, it, it's a very unfair question because it, it, it is a garden of some spectacular trees. Uh -huh. But I've got to say, this is, this is one of the most eye-catching, one of the most, most interesting, sp special ones. And I think all through the year, this is a wonderful tree. And, and it's one of these that draws visitors. Uh -huh. uh, they come out, out of the visitor reception. And this, this is a tree that people just congregate towards because it's, it's just so fantastic and just unusual. Uh -huh. And we'll, I'm just wondering now, we, we, I talked to you about the, the chestnuts in Corsica. I'm not sure what size the, the chestnuts are of this tree. How do you fancy trying, depending how many you can uh, gather up, of um, perhaps local school or, or, or somebody or even the cafe, trying to make some flour and make some bread out of it? We can certainly try that, certainly try that. I also liked your idea of making some beer out of them as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quite a, quite a good it's idea. a flavouring in yeah, Corsican you, you beer. You never know, you never know, we might well try that. Excellent, excellent. Okay, well thanks very much. I'm just going to move back and get a nice wide shot of this stunning walking chestnut. And it's the only chestnut in the contest. It's the only chestnut in the contest, yes. One ah. chestnut surrounded by some, some oaks. Some oaks, for sure. Thanks very much. Very special. It is special. Now we're off to see tree number two, the Hafferty Atlantic Oak in stunning Snowdonia.